Hello, friends. Growing up in this old world, you and I learned some hard lessons pretty quickly. The first lesson is this. If you want to get anywhere in life, you have to work hard to please your parents, your bosses, and your family. And the second rule is, there are no free lunches. And so what a shock it is to learn that God invites us to join his upside down kingdom by flipping his requirements. Number one, you don't have to work at all to get in. You trust Jesus' work. And number two, God's entry fee is free. No wonder so many are confused. So let's listen to John Wesley explain how this is really true. Our scripture text is found in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verses 5 through 8. Moses describes in this way the righteousness that is by the law. The man who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the deep, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. God's old covenant of works righteousness was actually first given to Adam. And it said, basically, do this and live. Many throughout history have attempted to earn their own righteousness with tragic results. But at the appointed time, a better covenant was given through Christ's atoning sacrifice on the cross, which changed the requirements to believe this and live. Unfortunately, many are still unaware of this new covenant of grace. Let's look at this covenant of works righteousness a little closer. For this covenant of works is based on obeying the moral law, which is basically the Ten Commandments. It requires perfect obedience, pure and perfect in every way. Never a single stumble from cradle to the grave. If you keep the law perfectly, you shall live. But of course, no one can do this. On the other hand, the new covenant of grace is based on putting our faith and trust in Jesus' righteousness. Now this righteousness is very close and available to us. It is given by God to us fallen creatures through faith in Jesus' work on the cross. It does not require us to do anything but believe in Jesus. And by this faith we are restored to God, saved from wrath, and alive in Christ. And in an instant, God will save you. So here is a comparison between the two. The law assumes a holy people in a happy condition, as Adam and Eve were before the fall, while faith acknowledges a sinful people in an unhappy condition and offers restoration. The law requires perfection, Faith requires trust alone. The law requires full payment. Faith forgives the debt on behalf of Jesus. The law is impossible. Faith is close at hand and very possible. Fear not, just believe. It is folly to trust in the law. For the basic error is that we must be innocent and sinless to start it, and then have perfect obedience in every point, in all ways, and at all times. You and I cannot do this on our own. It is foolish to think so. But the wisdom of faith is based on these facts. We enter the world with a sinful bent and become lovers of the world, corrupted by sin. So how can we avert the punishment we justly deserve? First, we must renounce efforts to obtain righteousness by any good works of our own. And second, 
We must put our faith in Jesus' righteousness that God is pleased to credit to our account. Faith. It is God's only way. Who are we to question it? It is amazing that we sinners can even be reconciled to this holy God. The only way to recover our favor with God is by faith in Jesus. And so in conclusion, do not say, I must first do this or that. I must be a better person. That's just more works righteousness. Do not say, I am not good enough. No one ever was. I am not humble enough, nor sorrowful enough over my sins. Well, what is enough? Oh, but I must do something before I come to Christ. But what if he returns tonight? I need more sincerity. This is simply piling up more unusable good works. When you finally run out of excuses, do say, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and God will save me now.